Hello and welcome. Today I'm in everyone's favorite tier 7 US battleship, the Colorado, and the game takes place on everyone's favorite map, Hotspot. And I have Concola open because I'm playing a slow as US battleship. This game was from the stream, so I just showed everyone what I was playing on the side as well. I start out by going through the middle, because I'm a slow ass battleship and if I start going elsewhere I will I'm, I risk avoiding any fights. Sadly, because I was occupied with the other game, I forgot to actually swap onto AP. And my fir first shot on that Wyoming was pitiful because of it. But it's okay. I would like to go into the sea cap actually, but the problem is that there's like three cruisers to the north and I would like to avoid fighting all of them at once so I decide to go towards where the Wyoming is. That is I want to go to the southwestern part of the map. And it seems that the enemy carrier is actually there. As we can see on the minimap. So going there would be good. Actually, I guess we should kill the Ryujo from here. Once the Wyoming is dealt with. Well, it seems that he died to the torpedoes. Okay, so let's kill the Ryujo, right? Well, can't do that because this idiotic Hatsuharu right in front of me decided to drop a whole smoke cloud between me and the carrier which makes it literally impossible to kill it because we can't see it this is such a bad play that this might actually cost us the game since he literally is protecting their carrier Seriously, he's essentially helping their team. And since I'm a slow ass battleship and I'm alone here, I probably won't be able to catch up to the carrier anymore. I guess it's time to start avoiding, so I launch my fighters. I also realize there's a Hatsuharu, so I would have to deal with that one too. I obviously select the anti air targets every time. And also my fighter is launched and the Pepsi Cola needs to be dealt with too. Torpedo bomb is incoming so I turn right and slow down to try to outsmart the carrier player. Well at least I did a whole bunch of damage to the Pepsi Cola. Okay, Torpedo Bombers number one avoided. Now it's time to try to avoid the other ones. I start turning the other way because it seems that the third Torpedo Bomber wants to drop from the other side. Torpedo Bomber group number two avoided as well. Finishing off the Pepsi Cola is also good, but I would like to not take a torpedo from this. Keep in mind that there is a Hatsuharu close enough still, which means that I would have to deal with that one too and try to avoid torpedoes from him. Sadly, I still took one of the torpedoes from the torpedo bombers, but three groups and I only took one torpedo, which is pretty good, I guess. But the problem is the Hatsuharu now, because the Hatsuharu has way stronger torpedoes. Well, luckily it seems that he messed up a little. And I also have HE loaded, so it's the perfect situation to try to kill him. But he ran too far away, it seems. Out of my detection range. So let's try to finish the Pepsi Cola instead with, with HE, but he's so low HP that a few shells should do it. Enemy cruiser destroyed. 
I mean, you will still keep my HE loaded because remember, there's a carrier in front of us and a destroyer to the side. Besides, everything else is out of range. It seems the carrier is going into the southwestern corner, so let's go towards that. While still keeping in mind that there's a Hatsuharo out for my blood, or well, oil, I guess. Always select the planes to have stronger anti air against them. And torpedo bombers are coming back again. Somebody is mad in chat. Kind of a bad situation. It's like seven against five. Let's try to avoid these torpedo bombers again. These, those seem to be Hatsuharu torpedoes, which already missed. I guess I'll take like one or two from these torpedo bombers. One, good. There should be one torpedo bomber more. I mean, that was only two, right? Since my fighter is up again, I launch it. And the third torpedo bomber is here. Try to keep my nose pointed towards him as much as I can. Well, sadly I'm locked with my turning, but... I, I could turn a little to the other side. And now my nose is going towards him again, and he is attacked by the fighter. And this one's avoided as well. Excellent. I guess... actually nothing nothing is in range again. Well, it seems the Hatsuharu is straight ahead from me. Because of where the torpedoes are. And time bomber is incoming again. Notice that it's only one tier lower. The carry is only one tier lower than me. The planes don't really get that much better from that tier to the next one. I guess the main difference is that he does have one extra dive bomber group in that one. Still though, this fighter is doing lots of work with his uh, being shot down, I guess, from tail gunners. But no, actually the panic is pretty good. Torpedo bomber is incoming again. It seems that all I'm doing this game is dodging torpedo bombers. Which is actually quite fun, so I don't really mind it. Unfortunately, I am definitely taking this one torpedo. There was no way around it. It seems the Hatsuharo is to the left side of me. And that torpedo was really unfortunate to take. It did a lot of damage. A lot more than these airdrop torpedoes do. And it seems I'm gonna be taking some more, so I, rep so I healed right away. Wow, 400 HP. Well, the Hatsuharu seems to be somewhere there. But since I'm not hunting the Hatsuharu and the carrier instead, and the carrier is in the southwestern corner, I'll be going that way. And luckily it's 3 against 6. We do have the points advantage and the cap advantage, so we might still be able to do it. Especially with the help coming from that other battleship. I might be low HP, but also notice that if I had one extra heal, I would be doing far better. So I would definitely recommend getting Superintendent on battleships. And it seems he's run out of die bombers, which is good. I mean, I've killed 33 planes already, and he's a tier 6. That battleship is in range, but I'd like to not fire at him because... 
There's a carrier in front of me, and the moment I spot him, I want to be able to open fire. To deny as much plane, a bit, as many planes as possible taking off. Sadly, it, oh, it seems he has run out of torpedo bomber as well. But, but unluckily, he still has three groups of three. At least this one I'll be able to avoid. I don't think I'll be able to avoid the ones to the right unless he messes up. Because he's in position to... Wow, I guess he did mess up. He did not anticipate me slowing down, I guess. I've noticed that playing with a throttle is an incredibly good way to... ...fool carrier players. In fact, I have fallen for the same trick many, many, many times, and actually I still do, almost every day. Every day that I play carriers, that is. So I would definitely recommend doing it. The fighters are up again, so I'll launch them. And another torpedo bomber avoided. I guess I could, I should be able to take one more torpedo from air drop, that is. I wonder where the Hatsuharu went. Oh, never mind. I can see him on the map right there. Hmm. I guess he did a circle around me. I wonder why he stopped attacking me. I guess he realized that he has an ink a really hard time hitting me. I'm surprised that actually hit. Well, it seems the carrier should be close. And he's about to run out of planes. 39 killed already. But taking any torpedoes would be bad right now, so I would like to avoid as much as possible. Hmm. I might actually end up taking one of those. That's unfortunate. Well, I did survive, but I only have... 800 HP, 900 HP, but at least I spotted the carrier. I can't believe that splice right now. If he wasn't out of planes, that splice could have cost me my game. Problem solved, sir. But he is most—he has mostly run out of planes, so it's not that big of a deal. Still, this but what? I fired HE and I got two citadel hits. What the hell? I wanted to set him on fire, not citadel him with HE. I guess that shot was a little too close. Well, I guess at least I should be able to kill the carrier. I mean, I won't do something silly like die to the secondaries, right? Right? I have actually seen uh, Shokaku kill a North Carolina with her secondaries. It was quite a sight. Sadly, the North Carolina was on my team. Well, the Ryujo seems to be coming towards me. I do select him for the secondary fire, but I am really annoyed by what the hell these guns are doing. They seem to fire wherever they want, or rather, they seem to fire everywhere except where I am actually pointing at. At the moment I'm a bit worried, because I haven't killed the Ryujo yet, and he's getting closer and closer and closer and closer, and he is a lot faster than me. And what the hell did those shells just do? I mean, it's like I aimed to the right from where I am aiming, but I didn't. They just flew wherever they wanted. 1.5 kilometers. One kilometer almost. <sighs> Enemy aircraft carrier destroyed. 
excellent. 958 points. Well, we only have two alive, they have four, but it's okay because I killed the carrier, so I am out of danger. Or not? That's a Pepsi Cola firing at me. <laughs> no! Please hit, please hit, please hit. Just hit once, he should be dead from just one hit. And I hope he misses all of his shots. No, I missed. So bad. Okay, we're getting that one cap now. If I can survive a little longer, we should be able to win. Come on, please hit. I am at such a huge disadvantage here. He has as much HP as I do, but he fires way, way, way faster, and we both die in like one hit. No! Yes! 49 HP! Excellent! I am so good! I am so good at this game! I did so well this game! I avoided so many torpedo bombers, and I managed to fight off that... that... Cruise and we should win right now. Yay! One minute left too. No! No! A Wyoming! No! Please miss. Yes, you missed. Five points more. Five points more. No! They started capping. No! This is unfair. You can't do this to me. No, you can't do this. This this is this is bullshit. Unfair game. Please no. No. Wow, that's ridiculous. I can't believe that. I guess that's that's one of the advantages low tier battleships have is that they're. Detection range is much better than my detection range. I like how the guy in chat said stupid Colorado, like he expected me to be able to know that there was a Wyoming there. Magically. Oh my god, I can't believe we lost this. This is terrible. I am so disappointed right now. I did get 1700 score though, which is higher than anyone else in this game, even on the loss. And 42 plane kills. I guess the damage itself is like... Something like 80k, but... I mean, I avoided so many planes and killed so many planes. I felt like I did really, really well. This loss is really unfortunate. Oh well, it's part of the game. At least the match was really intense and I loved playing it. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, then please subscribe and thanks for watching.